Don't you know that from coast to coast where there's dope, there's hope, where there's dope, there's hope. Shush. Wait, is it lit? Ah, don't. Hmm. Listen, man, you already know what it is, man. It's yes, us. Yes, you know the fucking vibe. <laughs> it's us. It's us. It's us, Biatch. It's them boys, some herbal tea boys. Yeah. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We back for more. Boys and girls. Cats and dogs ah. and birds and squirrels. Hey, it is summertime. The squirrels Cozoo. and the birds, they all out here. The city is alive, man. The city is alive. The city is, the city is been, alive. Been, I ain't gonna say we back, but... We kind of been painting the town red for the last couple of weeks. Ooh, we've been doing a lot. We, we we need to sit down a little bit. I ain't gonna lie. We've been doing a lot, but we listen, good. we out here, man. There's a lot to celebrate. It's a lot to celebrate, but here we are. It's a lot going on. Listen, I hope everybody's out there being productive, Absolutely. being safe. Yep, yep, you know what yep. I'm saying? Being responsible. It's very you real. Know, socially responsible, socially distancing, and all that good stuff. For sure. Don't get too crazy out there, but you know, don't go crazy being we're cooped up in, in your head and shit. You got to get out there. You got to live your life. We're still in a pandemic. Remember that, y'all. Yeah, it's real it's out It's still here. a pandemic. You might be over it, but mask. it ain't over. <laughs> I just saw that. Did you see that joint I posted? I did see that. I loved that joint. I did see that. Yo, I, I saw that this game. morning. I was bopping. I was like, yo, she bodied that so hard. She really did. I went and followed her just because. <laughs> just I was GP. like, you know what? You earned She's that. You pretty earned much. that. Follow. I feel you. Yeah. But, um, she was doing facts. But yeah, man, we here. It's the Herbal Tea Podcast. Yes, sir. And you know, we do we we, we we here to get into this music shit, man. What else can you do but sit around and listen to a bunch of music? And there's been a lot of it. We we keep talking about. It. We've been talking about it all July, yeah, all June, and here we are in August, and it's still popping. People so are still pop pop the, pop the popping. Su- the summer is sizzling. Um, but yeah, man, we're gonna get into this music. We got these Q plus artists. We got our allies. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna take it to the streets later. Mm-hmm. And you know, pff, I mean, we already mm-hmm. we are we we live in the smoking section, but we're gonna mm-hmm. take y'all there a little bit later. But mm-hmm. for now. What, what are we gonna do, PG? We gotta light this thing up. You know what I'm saying? We about to set it off. The streets is on fire. They are on fire. We're gonna continue to add to that fire we because there's so much fire going on right now. We are adding. I'm feeling so good. I see, I see. I'm feeling blessed. Feeling good, looking good. Highly you know what I'm favored, saying? You feel me? We out here. I got my pearls, bitch. <laughs> I get it popping. All right. And fuck what y'all niggas say. Look at you. Look at you. All right. So let's <laughs> let's let's get to this music. Speaking of speaking of pearls. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. First up on the docket. Who's first on the docket? Brian to the stage. Brrr. The one and only himself, Mr. Rico Casadine, ladies oh, and gentlemen. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, we got Rico. Rico Casadine. Fine, sexy Rico. Hey, what? listen. Hey, listen, man. Mm. Q plus rapper from Atlanta. Mm-hmm. You already know what it is. Thickness. A town. Shout out to the A. Thickness. Thickums. Um, you know, speaking of thick, he's actually fun fact. Since you brought it up, you know what I'm saying you done segued me to my fun <laughs> fact. I appreciate the alley you. Okay. He's an advocate for uh, body positivity, Ooh. and he's working with this model agency called Thick. And you know they work with you know. Thick dudes, they out, they all about. Listen, own up to that thickness, all that that salacious fineness, all that beef. Listen, you know what I'm saying? They like, like, listen, embrace that, get into it, and, and enjoy this thickness. Listen, so man. that's what he's about. So I it's interesting here. you said that. I live there. I live there, and I'm so here for it. What you doing, Rico? What I you mean, doing? I mean, you already know it. I I got a, my debut blue collar beefcake. You already know. <laughs> you, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just leave that there. But um, plug. But yeah, but yeah. Shout out to Rico, man. Like I said, Q plus artist from the A. Um, he's an actor as well. So he he get in his acting bag. He's mm-hmm. acted in about three different web series. Um, mm-hmm. He starred in uh, the web series The Mister, mm-hmm. which I think that's on A Connection TV. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you're familiar, but they're they're kind of like a streaming service. They got a lot of web shows. They they popping out here. They doing anything. Um, he was on a show called Frenergy, um, and also another show called First Timers. So shout out to Rico doing his acting thing. He's at he he's on IMBD. Like if you on IMBD, he's on there. So he, fun, he got fun fact. Oh shit. He is on his acting thing, and I did see one of the web series, Uh-oh. Let It Go 2. Oh, shit. 
Yo, he kind of a problem. You know, he kind of a problem. Like, I I got into the scene. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You guys got to go check out Let It Go too. But the fun fact is, yo. Is that a series? No, it's just a, a movie. just a one web series, kind of like a 12-minute thing. Oh, uh, okay. Um, that's on A Connection TV. And, you know, he's in a couple. He's in a, in a relationship in the scene. Yeah. But Rico, Rico got. He doing it for he, you? He got two pieces on that. <laughs> Oh, he got two pieces. He got two pieces. Like, bah, bah. like yeah. Oh, like, shit. Yeah. Oh, so he acting, acting. Up. He acted, Man, listen, acting. I, got, I got to check it out because I haven't seen his acting chops yet. So I got to check it out. You got to go check out Let It okay, Go too. Okay. That's what it's on. And it's on A Connection. It's also on YouTube. So, you know. Okay. Well, I'm here for it. But not right now. We here for this music. Here for the music. So we going to get into that. Let's um, do it. He's actually working with Pink Gorilla. I don't know if he signed with them doing management or whatever. I know they definitely handled the rollout for this project. It's a relationship going on there. Uh, which is called Scorpion Sting. Scorpion. Um, I mean, you already know what that's giving right there. I already know. You know I what I'm saying? Know. Pretty much say less when it comes to that. Say less. Um, he dropped this project on the 2nd of July. So mm. this is fresh. Fresh out the oven. Fresh. Eight songs, 26 minutes. Eight songs. And this is his debut project. Debut. I was I was looking for him on Spotify, and I'm like, oh, shit. So did he, he don't have too much music out here. He mm. just started. I actually mm. interviewed him. Uh, this week uh, mm -hmm. on a query, mm -hmm. um, and I was asking, I'm like, "How long you been doing this, young bro?" Mm -hmm. what, he, he, what was said? This is his debut. He this hasn't been. Debut. I think he's been doing music since like 2018. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because we all like, especially when you rap, like everybody kind of know how to rap. Mm -hmm. Like if you grew up around a certain time, you just exposed to hip hop music. So For you sure. either hear it so much that you can kind of you know recite your favorite artist songs if you could do that then you can rap pretty much pretty much but everybody can't create songs and create s from scratch so that's where it comes how long you've been doing that is different you know what i'm saying you for rap sure. in for a hobby you freestyle with your friends here and there boom, boom, boom. all right cool that's like singing in the shower but when you come to like yeah when it comes to doing music and putting songs together and putting music out then it's like okay now we taking you serious so he got he out here he's screaming he out here he's screaming he out here um, making it happen. And this is the project, Scorpion Sting. Um, I'm going to just get right to it, man. What we got? Yeah. I gave it a 55% mid. Okay, okay, 55% okay. mid. Right. I gave it a... That's a high mid. That is a high mid. That's a high mid. That is a high mid. It's a, it's a, it's a good project. Mm -hmm. Like, especially for your debut project. I liked it. I enjoyed it. It wasn't a lot of playbacks for me. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't grab too many from my playlist, but I did have my favorites. Mm -hmm. So one of my favorite songs on there is probably Paths. That's my jam. Let's get into that joint. So Let's get into it. One of the it. things I really appreciate about Rico is his ear for beats. He's on some like low key like Rick Ross type shit. Like I love like on some trap beat type shit though. Like I enjoy the the selection of beats he chooses to, you know, rap over. Right. And then, you know, you hear the way he broke up the album, which it starts off with the, you know, we giving you the... The, the rah, twerk rap. The, the rah, rah, the rowdy shit. rowdy, the rah rah, the oh, twerk the rap, twerk all of that beat. shit. Mm -hmm. You getting that for 70% of the album. Pretty much. And then he gonna tail it off with the... He gonna get into his bag a little bit, get that into his feelings a little bit. Yeah. Let me give you my emotional side a little bit. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna switch it up for you. I'm gonna give you but that ain't that ain't too much of a range. You know what I'm saying? You giving me two octaves mm -hmm, right there. Mm -hmm, you know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. I like I like a little bit more in my spectrum mm -hmm. as far as as far as the overall project. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I do appreciate the emotional bag. A little bit more than the rowdy rowdy bag Word. from Rico, I, I, from him. It worked. Mm -hmm. So the Pavs joint, the, the the production was dope overall. Mm -hmm. I fuck with the production. He had the dramatic interlude, so he getting into his acting chops. Dramatic. It sounded like it sounded like he could have just grabbed that from one of his web series. Probably. You know what I'm saying? So he opened it like that. So he's setting the <laughs> stage for you, like how, you know what I'm saying? And then the hook was was another part that I was like, all right. I really like this hook. Mm -hmm. Like the, the the just just Jerry is the guy on the hook. Right, now he right. don't he don't have the most powerful voice. Right, right. But he has a sound to it, and he has a certain emotion mm -hmm. to his tone. Yep, yep. That brings across that extra emo. Like this nigga been through some relationships, and he like he could pull them chords. You know what I'm saying? Like the way he sing it. So I fuck with him more so. Now one of the 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 drawbacks was I thought the verses could have been a little bit longer 
But I love the feature. The feature of him and Black Fairy going back and back. That was kind of hard. Like these niggas did some Styles P type shit, but on some love shit. Two Q plus artists. Like I ain't never. I don't know if I seen that yet. And they both did. <sighs> And they bodied and it. They and, they and they both thickums. And they both did. They both thickums. Like, come on. Like, so that that one, that was my jam. So that's my jam on okay. the whole project. Okay. I fucked with that okay. joint. Okay, okay. Um, and then the other one that I really enjoyed was the F Love. Like, I really enjoyed the F Love. But it fell short for me because I thought this one, I thought this was like a, a, a fire potential song. Uh-huh. Like this song had the potential to be like up there because right. the the beat is dope the concept is dope the hook is crazy just just jerry did it again and then i thought rico kind of cheated us on the verses like i thought i thought he gave us bits and pieces of the story but he was like he was tiptoeing and then they was mm-hmm. short so i was like come on rico like you supposed to get in like mm-hmm. i needed like a like what happened you know what i'm saying he didn't really say what happened you know what i'm saying he see he told you the result of you know what he did or whatever why but you don't really know what happened like i'm like i needed more but it was a dope song and it gave me that it gave me wanting to know more about that story or whatever he was talking about absolutely absolutely. Um, but i thought it was dope but i thought he did fall short on on the verses i thought he had an opportunity to get in and he ain't really he ain't really knock it out the park with me for the for the for the rest of the album like the the beginning the first half of the, the the project i like a lot of the songs but they didn't really None of them really stood out to me too crazy. I do enjoy the joint with him and Young KSB. Uh, throw it back. That joint kind of hot. I mean, they all really fun. You know what I'm saying? Like, they fun joints. Headshot, I mean, that's just like... Headshot, headshot. Yeah, it's just fun to say. Little like, nigga, what's up? If you can't enjoy it, like, I want to hear that song going out. Like, I want to hear that, like, in the in the spot. Just come on, like, that's ah, some pregame headshot. Shit. Yeah, like, that's, that's just a... Shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But, like, I'm not really going back to too many of these, like, on my own like if i hear it on a playlist and come on i'm like oh yeah that that the turn up let's get it you know what i'm saying but like yeah yeah but paths is my joint man that that i'm playlisting i I fuck with paths and f love it's kind of like a love hate relationship with that one because i wanted some more from them bars Mm -hmm. but i do love the song so it's like f love like so it kind of it kind of makes sense but i mean that was my take on it that's why i gave it a 55 minute i feel like for his debut project He's on his way, man. He got a lot of potential. I enjoy the way, you know, he he uses his voice. We talked about this in the interview as well. Like, mm-hmm. he kind of really uses his voice as an instrument. He plays with different tones, different deliveries, different right. flows, which you got to give kudos to anybody who's who's trying to push the envelope, push their creativity, and give you something dope. And he's authentic to him, which I appreciate. And, yo, we got our eye on him. Got our eye on well, him. Welcome to the list, man. Herbal Tea welcome Podcast. Welcome to the list. What do, you, what do you got? What do you? That's my take on it. You know what I'm saying? You got me out here being all long winded. You I know? Mean, Tell me to wrap that shit up, man. I What's mean, up? wrap that shit up, <laughs> nigga. Really? No. Here's the thing. You kind of hit. <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> all the things that I would say about this record—that's <laughs> crazy. You really kind of nailed it. You kind of nailed it. The only thing I would add to that. Mm. His his tone, like you gotta you gotta really get your delivery right when you have a certain tone, because it could sound a little messy. He got a yeah. he got a little he got a little bit of like mystical little boozy tone. Oh my tone god, type fam! Voice. I DM'd him that. <laughs> like I DM'd him he and I'm like, yo, you giving me mystical? He's I giving swear mystical to god, with a little that little boozy so in there. That, that. That's uh that's what I'm getting from his voice. But that's the thing you gotta perfect that. I don't yeah, know. I yeah. think that's naturally who he, who his voice is, yeah. which is why I think the delivery could just. Which is why I said the potential time, was there. Yeah, you could see with it. With time, you like, could see yeah. that shit because mystical's dope. Mm-hmm. You know, Lil Boozy, all right, more or less. But at the same time, you know, they established. That's that, that, that got voice. A tone. That, yeah. Pass was my joint too. Um, I like how they kind of played off each other because, you know, Rico with his rah rah shit. Mm-hmm. And then. And then Black, Black Fairy came like, with the like, smooth, like, look, like, nigga, chill, it's, what's going it's, it's on? It's like, over. Like, you I wasn't even... really doing this. You wasn't really saying. Nah. You really wasn't there for me mm-hmm. either. Like, what are you talking about? Yeah. Like, and I know what you did issues. last summer, too, so don't act like, you Don't know act I mean? brand new. Like, this is not all my fault. <laughs> what's going on? You want, you real want, mellow. You want, you want to play the victim in the streets. Oh, I see how you move. Right. Exactly. I That's see, what it was. And I see it It fits so perfectly because we finished 
talking about Black Fairy in one of the songs was just him being honest about wanting to fall in love. So he's totally the perfect guy for a relationship yes. song. Which is also, so I said, that f- you, you picking the feature is also it's like, so yep, important. You got to pick the feature, but then your feature got to deliver. It got to deliver. But you got to pick the right feature for the right song. And that's song. exactly what they did there. Yeah. Um, just Jerry, I feel exactly what you mean you know not necessarily the greatest singer but he did add a tone element yeah. to mm-hmm. the joints he was on so i mean and they sounded really well together shot, i like shot, i like their tones up. together and long road i thought was kind of cool to me for as far as i like, like long rap, road too rap song like that kind of did it because i got into it he was kind of telling a story but i kind of feel you there where he he doesn't really go too deep into yeah, the story. Yeah, like it sounds like it should. There it, is more like, and then to the way it. he giving it, and it's like I'm like, you just you tap dancing yeah. for me. Like yeah. I need you to kind of like he wanted to get off the mic a little bit to not yeah. make the song too long, but you can't be afraid to Mm-mm. go there because not a with those kind of records. Yeah, yeah. So you know that comes with growth, though. Rico, I gave you a 45 mid. Ooh, okay, so, okay. So not know, too far off. Not too far off. And like I said, we kind of both agree pretty much all around about this shit. So yeah. you could have went. It is what it is. Shout hey, out to Rico. Look at that. 45 and a 55% mid. Yes, sir. Hey, there you have it, man. Rico Casadon. Go check that shit out. Streaming Rico on all platforms. Streaming. Scorpion Sting, man. Scorpion Sting. All right, all right. Showing off that Scorpio side. I see. So, next, bring to the stage. Who we got, man? Who here the, we who, go. Who we have? This right here. This oh. is Samir. Mm. Have y'all heard of Samir? Have you heard of Samir? I have not. I'm not going to lie. Samir's popping. You put, you, <laughs> I, apparently, you put me on. Samir's popping. I had no idea. I didn't either until not too long ago. You know, I saw somebody share some of her music. Mm. And let me just talk about this girl. Singer, songwriter, producer, originally raised in the Bay Area, San Francisco, but moved to L.A. to become the number one artist music in the world. Quote. Oh, she not playing. She not playing. That's some bold. That's, That's ambitious. Yes, but I'm going to get into a little bit more. Mm-hmm. She counts as Sade and Michael Jackson as influences. We definitely hear the Sade. Okay, I mean, it makes complete sense. <laughs> and attracted the attention of TJ Mazel, Jam Master J's son. Mm. Kind of raised her profile a little bit, led to collaborations with Chris Brown, IDK, and placements on Adult Swim. Her story is very, very, um, it's a beautiful story, but, you know, unfortunately, those kind of stories come from a source of pain, Mm. and she was sexually abused at the age of eight years old by her own father, who was a deacon. God damn. Yes. And so, she was raised in a Christian household, so she couldn't speak on it. That's heavy. She couldn't speak to anybody on it. Nobody would support her. So, she was holding the story in, as she said, for 15 years. Oof. So you're an adult now, Oof. and you have to unpack all this stuff on your own. I can really, really, you know, I really empathize with the depth of that story because it's sexual abuse from anybody is wrong, but it's it's double, triple from fucked your up from parent. your own fucking father. That's different. So, yeah. she that's, is, that's And different. as a result, you know, I just see the beautiful flower that she's become. She started the Don't Give Up campaign, hashtag Don't Give Up. It began in 2014 to raise awareness for victims of survivors of childhood sexual abuse. And she has a song called Don't Give Up, and she has a book called Don't Give Up as well. okay. So she's turning this thing into... She's not playing with it. You know, she's definitely turning it into a lesson and teachable moments and, you know, just a place where, you know, people can, can lend their support to other people. And I definitely commend that. I hear that. Collaborations with Cure Design Style. That's just like a holistic brand. You know, she did a photo shoot and a playlist kind of sponsored her. Um, Performed at South by Southwest in 2019, I believe, with a van sponsorship. So she got the bag going. She's really popping out here. Okay. Um, She's got the single No Service. It came out July 12th, 2020. That is her birthday. Damn, that's hard. And she dropped the video. That's hard. That's that single. usher shit. I gotta do one of those, man. Yeah, that yeah. might be. You gotta celebrate because I'm doing it. Come I'm gonna on, tell man. you, 
Four one twenty twenty one. Oh, that's how you come in. No games. All right. Well, I might come a two twenty twenty one. What's up? Shh. You trying to you trying to battle for album of Let's the year next year? Get it, come on. Is you trying to battle for album of the year next year? I ain't trying to do nothing. I'm gonna let the chips fall where they may oh, and let shit. the drip. Listen, you heard it here first. 2021 is going don't down. drop don't because <laughs> just that's all we gonna just, say. You know, put that shit away. You feel all me? All right. All right. So no service. <sighs> Moon rock, bitch. Oh. 95% moon rock for this song, baby. This song. Are we moon rocking? We're moon rocking this song. We're moon rocking this song because I listened to this song several, several times and I'm trying to find something that I could really objectively say is bad about it. And the only bad thing I could say about it is it's just not that original because a lot of girls sound kind of like her. Mm. That's it. But the song itself stands. The beat bop. She got the right tones. You know what I'm saying? She giving you the hook. Got a full, thick, Whoa. harmonious hook on there. Whoa. And it's mellow. You get into it. It doesn't Whoa. stick around too long. It doesn't Whoa. overstay. It's welcome. Whoa. You in it. You vibing. I feel what she's saying. She's obviously <sighs> queer persuasion i feel like the hoe was talking to me oh shit so i fuck with the vibe of this record so mm. much like i said you hear the shade it's like shade meets the internet mm. if they did some shit and that's what it would be mm. um i'm fighting for someone i can run to mm. so there's my thing that's samir that's hard though like that that's that's the bar though that's it that's all you gotta say Dissect that. Unpack that. Unpack that hole. And then come talk to me about what you doing. A pen. What wow. you doing? Okay. What you doing? What you doing? I mean, damn, like <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I'm a little dizzy. Like I gotta <laughs> You a little taken aback. Yeah, like I gotta <laughs> I gotta get my composure. Hot like, flashes, hot flashes. Damn, on. like that's right. how you feeling that's about how it. I feel about like this I felt like the thing. intro you were laying it on thick a little bit, but I didn't know you was gonna take it to the moon rock. Ooh. Mm. Okay. You know what? It's funny because all right. So I gave her a loud. Okay. I gave it a loud seventy two percent, right? Mm. And I tinkered with seventy eight fire. Mm. I went back and forth like three times, Ooh. and then I went back down to the loud seventy two. And specifically, why you said it's not that original, mm. and it's a song that like you gonna hear, you gonna love it when you hear, it, you fuck with it, mm. but. Ooh, Stick to your ribs for you. That's on my playlist. I playlisted it immediately, <laughs> but on site. Ooh, moon rock! Mm -hmm. Wow, now you got me thinking now. Mm -hmm. But listen, I gave it a loud seventy-two percent, and for everything you said, pretty much the fly, the production is fly as fuck. Mm -hmm. I love the production. Shout Sultry. out to uh, Beats by Who Beeman. Shout yeah. out or slash Wildersey. Yeah, he goes by both names. He body that, or they body that. Whoever that is, mm -hmm. body the production, sultry vibey. Her voice is just like do for you, and she effortless with it though. Mm -hmm. Like it's just like I wake up in the morning and and the mic right there, and let me just belt out my emotions. Let real me quick. just do that real quick. Like that's what it sound like. Which is that's why I give her. Cause everybody can't do that. It's not that original, but everybody can't give right. you that effort. That's that Sade shit. Yeah. Like Sade yeah. sound like she just like rolled out of she bed just one sound morning. Like, she sounds like she talks like she sings. Like she sings. <laughs> right. Like it don't even right. sound like she sound regular. It sounds yeah. like that's just how she communicate with you. I think like it's not even about the range because the range, I'm going to give you that the range with those type of records, you don't have to be the best singer in you the world need, to carry you're not that. If you're doing rangy shit here, you're doing yeah, too you're much. you're doing too much. That's not what it's this is. It's not what this is anyway. You no. don't need all of that. But so. peep this though. She gave me hints of Miguel. I could hear that. I totally could hear that. Like her her sound, she like genreless as far as her voice. Mm -hmm. Like her voice don't sound like she could be anything. It's not like, yeah, like it just sounds dope. Like you don't know what it's just dope. And she sounds like a bunch of different people, but like the best of them. Mm -hmm. And she's that was the super kudos to her because her voice. The voice is the standout on this, which that's where you gotta give it up at. Because 
for you to have a dope and beautiful song, it's like, ooh. But then your voice be the standout of yeah. the whole shit. Yeah. Like, like the way she just effortlessly bounced between the melodies. And, and then the bars. Like, I got insecurities. Scars you cannot see mm -hmm. on me. Won't tell you everything because of what you might think of me. See? That, and that comes from that comes from reality. It's like I ain't lying. I just ain't tell you nothing. Right. Like that's some real shit. Like it's, but it's like, you know, motherfucker, gonna judge you for certain things. Absolutely. You just know what it is. But mm -hmm. we all got those things. That's what. It. But she, oh, man, she dope. She dope. She dope. She dope. I have to give her, her props. She dope. And like I said, I might be a little bit more onto the story aspect, but I just think the whole picture wow, of what wow, she's bringing is right. so on brand. Like the thing about branding, mm -hmm. here's the thing about branding. Is this like the third moon rock? I, I think, think so. I think this moon rock number three. This moon rock number Holy three. Because the first one was Bubba. Mm -hmm. The other one was, was that uh, Darcy. Darcy Dundada Darcy. gave him. You gave Darcy. I gave Darcy that one. Oh Ooh. shit! This is my second moon rock. I didn't. Shh. You got two moon rock. That's all. Yeah. Like, wow, but, moon rock. But you listen. But you know what I'm saying? Like she's she's totally on brand. But the thing is, she's not she's not um, gratuitous with the branding. You know what I'm saying? Like too on the, on the needle. Yeah. You can tell this is just who she is. Yeah. And everything I love just that. Falls into I place. love that. I love that. We need more artists so like authentic. that. Cause we yeah. got enough for the extra for like, sure. fantasy. We yeah. get it. We need that too. But like, we get this. We don't get enough of. Yeah, performance is good, but just being yourself, you can't go wrong with at least being yourself and knowing yourself. No, when you just that. dope though, like everybody I mean, can do that. Yeah, she, she. I mean, she can write. She clearly. I mean, I want to hear more. I never heard of her. This is the first time I'm hearing her. This is why I love this show because right. you get to discover artists like this. You get to put the audience onto dope artists like this. Yes, sir. Man, listen. We got some good music coming out. Shout out to Samir. Shout out. No service. Now, I didn't get the title. That I didn't get. And that kind of not irked me a little bit, but that left me. Well, my interpretation is she did the video in Malibu. I saw that. So on it's the like, beach. can you get cell phone service in there? I love the beach. Maybe you can. Maybe it's like a getaway thing. Like, I want to get somewhere and I don't even care if there's no service because mm. I want to be with you. Take me somewhere. I don't give a fuck about no no service. You talking about you want to see that? And I see you talk about that would that would get me. See that would have took me to the seventy eight percent, and that might have pushed me to the fire if I had really delved in I caught and it. really caught that because I didn't catch that jewel. I missed it. I was looking, but then the sun you didn't catch it. You the sun was the sun in my was eye, eye. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I missed that jewel. It was too lit. I missed it. it. Damn. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, look at that. Samir, listen. Welcome to the team, man. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome to the sister. team. We, you got to move right. You got love out here, sister. You got to move right. We got you. a 72% loud and a 95% 95. moon rizzy. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. All right. All right. I mean, I felt like it was going to be an interesting episode, mm -hmm. but I wasn't expecting that. I'm still I'm still kind of recovering a little bit. All right. Let's, <laughs> but let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Let's, let's keep it going. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Word, <laughs> like, you, you let them go. All right. Next on the motherfucking docket. This right. is an interesting one. It sure is. Miss Day Burger, ladies Day and gentlemen. Burger. Come on. Let's get into it. Come her. on. Ugh. Okay. So we got Day Burger on the docket. All right, all right, all right. Let's 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 get into her a little bit. Where are my notes? Let me look at my notes real go quick. Ahead, go Q ahead. plus artists. Queens, ladies and gentlemen. Queens. Shout out to Queens, man. In case you ain't know Queens. Man, like we out here. I ain't from Queens, but I'm in Queens. What? Mm-hmm. We in Queens what right up? now. What up? You know What's what I'm going saying? on? You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Queens. Day Burger. First known, interestingly enough, as a background dancer for Lil Mama. Lil Mama. Which I did not know that. I was like, oh, shit. Go ahead, Day. Yeah. Go ahead, Day. She's been doing music for about eight years. Um, she's the self-proclaimed uh, queen of underground hip-hop. Queen of underground, underground New York, the underground, underground queen York. of New York. Underground That's what she calls herself. I give her that. I mean, she out here with it. She you know what I'm saying? Here. If you ain't giving it to her, she taking it. That's the kind of energy I feel like she mm -hmm. on because she out here. Um, she's performed globally. Like she's she's been out here. Like she's performed across the world, headline festivals. So I mean, she ain't just saying 
talking shit. Like she she's doing she the thing. She's been out she, here doing she her thing. She walking the talk a little bit. She, she walking the talk. Are you she you is. sound like you familiar with Day? I was I'm I wasn't too familiar with Day Burger. I'm not that. Well I heard. I mean, I I am now, but I wasn't before. I heard rumors of her name. I feel like you brought her up before. Yeah, I've heard the name before, and I saw. I think I just came across her on uh, IG. I did not get somehow. Into her she was like associated now. through somebody else or something like that. But yeah, I didn't get into her. It might have been through KK. I might have saw her do. You dropped this on my lap. Mm, okay. So uh, Day Burger. Fun fact. Oh shit. I knew you had something. <laughs> I knew you had something. <laughs> she had a song called Where My Girls, and it was featured in the movie Little, which is the movie written by Issa Rae. Mm. It came out oh. spring. I went to go see with the, the little, movie. With the little girl from Blackish. Blackish. Yeah. Um, How, I wanted to see that. It was, wanted, good. it was a cute movie. I love her. She's ill. Yeah. Duh, you know, I just liked it for the sisterhood. Because, you know, you got the young sisters in there. Mm -hmm. um, generational. Generational. Issa Rae's writing it. Mm -hmm. You know, you got... I remember these women's names. I'm sorry. but I forgot who was in it, too. Yeah. But I know exactly I think what you're I talking about. I want to say it was... Nope, I'm not gonna fuck it yeah, up. Yeah, don't fuck it up. Don't fuck so, it up. So, but it was a good movie. But she had the song "Where My Girls" featured on the soundtrack. So that's 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 where you go. Mm. And you know, let's talk about how much of a hood chick she is. How I love this girl. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. Well, let's get into this music. She put out the joint "Naomi Walk." All right. Came out June 26, right, right, right. 2020. Right, right, right. Not too long ago. Not too long ago. So this is still pretty fresh. Yeah. Three minutes, 15 seconds. This is her latest uh, single. I think she put out a, a project earlier this she year. She put out an EP after the single. This, this is from, this is from it's a new, new EP. It's a new, new EP? Yep, it's a new EP. Oh, okay. What's the name of the EP? Hold on. Why yeah. did I think it came out earlier? <laughs> Hold on, we're gonna get that in. I just thought it a came hop. out earlier. I got my facts messed you up. You know what I'm saying? It's a new EP, and we're gonna get into the name of the EP. Is it is it Bite the Burger? I mean, that's my, the, that's the latest project I see. Yeah, well, no, 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 it's one after. Where? Oh, dessert. Yeah, that's. That's the EP. Dessert. Oh, that's a whole project. Yeah, I didn't see that. That was that's tucked the away. One. Oh, okay. Oh shit. God damn it. Oh. All right. Let's just keep going. We can edit that out. Yeah. All right. Um. So she got a new EP out called Dessert. Okay. And this song is off the EP. Okay. Okay. Facts. All right, but we're gonna check out this single right. Naomi Walk. Um, I mean, I'm gonna just get right to it, man. I gave it a forty percent mid. You gave it a mid. I gave it a forty percent mid. All right. All right. And I'm gonna tell you why. Okay. Um, I like the song, but I didn't love it. Mm hmm And it sounds, it sounds a bit formulaic to me. Mm -hmm. Like it sounds like I've heard this song before. Like Naomi? it wasn't Whoa. Yeah, it Naomi? wasn't it wasn't Whoa. it wasn't it wasn't a new song. And I've heard her other stuff and I'm like it didn't give me that feeling like of her other stuff. Like mm -hmm. I heard other joint like her joint mm -hmm. her joint I was just talking about Bite the Burger. I love that song. Mm -hmm. That song is hard. Like she got different types of shit. But this one wasn't really doing it for me. I wasn't crazy about the production. Mm -hmm. I thought the production could have been a little better. Like, I thought the drums was hard. But then when it came to them chords, the way that the, the instruments came in, it, mm -hmm. I don't know. It just wasn't hitting for me. A little, I don't bit, know. Too, a little bit too familiar. A little bit yeah, too I don't know. I don't derivative. Know, I don't know what it was for me that I wasn't I wasn't feeling that, that chord regression change yeah, or whatever. Yeah. But, um, but, I mean, it was all. I mean, she can rap, so she not going to sound bad on it. But the hook sound kind of lazy to me. Yeah. Yeah, it was like she was like, "All right, I get I, it, it just, just formulae. It just sounded too too on the nose for me. A little bit A B C. And then you. I felt like the kid can't feature. He kind of was like, "All right, I'm gonna just get her these." You know what I'm saying? He ain't really feel too enthused hey. about his his bars. <sighs> so I was like, "All right," and I was expecting more from this kind of punch up because I know they both rap. You they know what I'm both. saying? So I wanna I wanna hear them go off, but I didn't really hear it that much. And it was interesting because. When I was doing some research on her, I saw that she has like a workshop that she has where she teaches like young female artists how to write music and how to 
put songs together, like oh, song word. structure. Yeah, so she has a workshop called right. Where My Girls. And I'm like, okay, so that kind of even makes more sense. Like, this sound like she just was right in her formula mm-hmm. bag. Like, yeah. this is it. I know it works. I'm going to do that. Boom, boom, boom. I know they're going to fuck with it. Like, that's what it is. You know what I'm saying? So it was just, I don't know. I ain't get enough of it from that combo as I was expecting. So that's what I gave it a 40% yeah. mid, man. Where you at with it? Ooh, ooh. Where you at with it? Can we bring to the stage mm. Sir Reginald? Mm. Bring him here. <laughs> bring him. Oh, shit. Yo, Come on, this Reggie. nigga went from a moon rock to a Reginald. Reginald That's here. extreme. Listen. I love it. Listen. Hey, what we got? Reginald Re- what? Reginald at 29%. Oh, shit. So. Yeah, break it down. You got to break this it, one down. I fuck with this girl. You got to break this one you down. You know, when I did my little bit of research. <laughs> this is so interesting. I can't believe She this. got, you know, she down with Jungle Pussy. I don't know if you heard of Jungle I Pussy. I definitely heard of Jungle Pussy. They got a little, you know, thing Maybe together. that's where I heard and her they, from. They kind of got the same vibe. They kind of really just girly girls, but they kind of hood. Mm-hmm. And they, they self-aware. I love that shit. I love that shit, too. Like, like I like hearing bitches talk. She knows a lot of that and shit. And they know they love themselves they know who they are they know where they're going they know yeah. what they want Fuck out of life niggas. that's it <laughs> and talk your shit Fuck these bitch. niggas man when she did canary yellow i think it's one of her songs yeah. i saw the video she down Fuck there these niggas she just she just she took at? the she camera just, to yeah, fulton center yeah she just fulton down fucking there. center and did a damn fucking video i want to do a video in fulton center that's ballsy because you got to get a permit if you're going to do a big gorilla thing. style that was gorilla she just style. shot that shit on whatever like fucking Erica camera Badu. That's it. And that's the type of energy that I saw. And I know she got bars. Yeah, of course. She did not bring them here. Nah. This was super formulaic. Yeah. And I was kind of disappointed. Yeah. Considering this is a new single that she got out. Yeah. And considering that she's out here really doing her thing. But yeah, it's but, pretty like a Cardi B yeah, song. Like, and, with, and she's got a Nicki Minaj sounding voice, pretty much. Oh my God. So, and you know how you have, like, you know how you got type beats? Like, you go on YouTube. Yeah. And you do, this yeah, is like a type song. A total, total. Like, you go on a type song category. Like, you know, it was uh, just formulaic. Like, what is it? Press? Mm. You know what I'm saying? That song? Or what was the other song that Cardi B had out? The one that she showed she was pregnant. Oh, I can't remember. You got me. I yeah, can't, I can't. But it sound like Cardi that type of beat, like a, just a just kind of the shit that I, Cardi do with them with them regular piano chords over a trap beat. And okay, you know what I'm saying? It's cute for the kids. And it's like I give it it that. Was, yeah, but that's what I'm saying. That's the formula. She knows it's gonna mm-hmm. it's gonna work. Yeah. Like it's a you know, but that's what I'm saying. It's it's gonna and work. It it's not like this is a good niggas. yeah. That's what I'm saying. It's not. But really you got a good song. she got other shit though. That's the thing. She got other. But shit But I feel though. better knowing that she got an EP. I didn't realize she yeah. had a whole project, mm-hmm. and that, this was on a project. So now I want to go check out the project yeah. and see how this weighs up to the rest of Dessert, it. Dessert, yeah. But for this to be the lead from the project uh, mm-hmm. wasn't really a great Ooh. intro for me, Burger. It ain't it ain't really making me want to bite the burger right yeah, now. Really but I mean, I already bit it, so I know how it tastes. <laughs> So I'm going to come through. I'm going to come through and see how the rest of it is. I mean, I, I kind of... I'm going to take the pickles off. These, this is the pickle. I'm going to take the pickle off. But she off. got it out the freezer. I'm going to need her to hand... I need to get her the real ground beef, the 80-20 sirloin beef with a little bit of, you know, pork Yeah, this was fat. definitely a frozen patty. I need you to bring me that. Like, yeah, this this is a frozen put patty. Put this on the grill for me. Yeah. And give me a real sumptuous, delicious... Delectable fucking burger. <laughs> that is funny. We really out here <laughs> on tangerine with the fucking burger. All right, so what we got? Uh forty percent mid and what and did you get? Twenty nine percent Reggie. Wow. See here you go with the petty one percentages. I'm sorry. I love it though. We out here. I wanted to like it. That's the thing. But see, that's how it goes. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's why you gotta respect our opinions. Cause we fuck with everybody who we are putting on this platform. Yeah. Like, if we ain't fuck with you, we wouldn't even want to review your music. Not at all. So the fact that you on here, that's that's the salute. That's the kudos. We did our job, right? After that, it's about this music. It's like about the we, music. It, it ain't up to us at that point. It's up to whatever you did with this project that we reviewing. We're going to let you know how it is. What we going to do. What but we going to tell do. you why. So, all right. So, you know what time it is. 
Is it that time of the day, the ally of the, of the day? day. <laughs> oh, the ally of the day. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. We got a theme for the ally theme of the song. day. You see, and right it just popped it. up. Like, we ain't mean to do we it, even. but it's popping, so fuck it. Why so not? so popping. All right, man. I've been waiting to what do this What you got? Ally. What you got? Who is this? I've been waiting to do this for so We've been so tinkering. Long. We tinkered with it in the roughs. <laughs> we totally Y'all don't did. know about the rough era. I don't know. We might have had to do a documentary on the rough era one time. Once, once we a little bit later down the line, but down the rough the line, era was different. It was how different. This came together <laughs> a little different. So our ally that we've chosen is Jaden. Oh, Jaden Smith. Jaden. That Jaden. Like, oh. like Will Smith, Smith and Jada's oh, oh. oldest son, Jaden Smith Junior. That guy, Mr. Smith. That guy. That's oh. who the ally of the day is, and we're gonna break it down. Why he is break it on down, please, because it's a lot. It's a lot. It's, it's a, a lot, lot of energy out there. It's a lot of info out there. This. We don't really know a hundred percent, but we know. But if we you know, know you know. Things. If you know, you know. So we're going to go ahead and give it up. Break it down for the people. Here we go. Rapper, singer, songwriter, model, and actor, mm. who's basically born into Hollywood. I like mean, if you don't know, it's that's Jaden, Jaden and I mean, Will's son. It's Jaden. Like. Hello, like second son of Will Smith. Eldest son to Will and Jada. Mm. First movie was Pursuit of Happiness. <laughs> yo, they body. He, yo, he's a prodigy. Brother. Like, like, he's, he's a prodigy. Listen. He's you, a child prodigy. You were born into it, and your first EP, your first album out the box is a classic. I think it won an Oscar somewhere. But anyway, Pursuit of Happiness. He was the little boy that played basically Will's character's son. son. Yeah. And it was such a beautiful movie. If you haven't seen it, I tell you, I highly advise body, it. He bodied that. Um, they both did. He went on to star in the 2010 remake of Karate Kid and with Jackie Chan. Oh, with Jackie Chan. Yeah. And Damn. then he did After Earth um, with his father, Will Smith. Another one. Come on, Pops. So, you know. Come on, Pops. His foray into music. <laughs> get this. His foray into music. Was a collaboration with Justin Bieber. Oh my God, I forgot about that. In 2010, your first song was a top 10, five times platinum hit. (laughs) I forgot about that. Never say never. That was the name of the song. (laughs) Like, how that's your. So, I mean. That's your debut. That's your debut. That's your debut. That's your bar. That's your bar. So Royalty, man. That's what it is. Um, Kid is a legend. He went on. He did a mixtape called Cool Cafe 2012. Mm. His first album, Sire, in 2016. That's one of his middle names. That's why it's uh, named after. Oh, is that? Yeah. He's uh, Jaden Christopher Sire Smith. That's his whole name. Second oh, album. he got two middle names. He got two middle names. What's with the two middle names? I what like it. I think it's cute. I know, but I like, what is it. like, that's, you got wild names. Because, you know, maybe it's with a family name, you know, got different family names. I but don't do know. you like say it all of the time? Like, when do you say all four names? I don't think you ever say all four names. See, that's what I'm saying. I think it's just, you know. It need to be guidelines on that. I don't know, man. <laughs> Seven, second album, Eris, which is Sire Backwards, mm. 2017. That was fly. I love shit like yeah, that. I, like I that love shit too. little. <laughs> That's that geek shit. <laughs> that I is, love shit like it that. Is, Ugh. It is. Ugh. We chose him as an ally because as much as there's a whole lot of controversy with the media baiting, with the sexuality mm-hmm. and all of that. See, that's my whole thing with JNO. He playing games. But let me show you. Let me let me <laughs> let me get to the shit though. We don't know where he falls he, on the he Q be plus playing. spectrum. He be playing he play, though. But he does have anti-bullying efforts that he's done to kind of show solidarity. Mm. Maybe not so much solidarity, but just the idea of you just should be free to be yourself. Whatever that means Which is to why you. I fucks with him. Because he like, nigga, I could play with it if I want. It ain't got shit to do with you, nigga. I do what I want. Basically. Like what? He did, he, he wore, he wore a dress, woman's wear, mm. for, in, a, in a Louis Vuitton campaign. So kids, quote, kids in five years won't get beat up. Mm. He I don't cre- know if that was going to stop, he stop cre- it. I don't know. But, but I, I understand where he's sentiment. going with yeah, it. The sentiment I understand where he's there. going with yeah. it. He created a gender queer centric clothing line mm. called Misfits Rep in 2016 for the girl that wants to be a tomboy and the boy that wants to wear a dress. 
So, I mean, that's pretty much LGBTQ as it gets. I fuck with the kid. And then you remember the whole move he did with the water, getting water over the flint with the, the water oh, filtration yeah, system, yeah, yeah. systems and all that. Like, he ain't for, he, he, not, he on some young, like, Elon type right. shit. Like, he's a young, he a legend, man. Like, I, I fuck with Jay. Like, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm in the, if he got a hive, I'm in the Jay and hive. Like, you could put me in there, too. Yeah, I'm on that type of time with Jay. I'm paying I fuck attention. With Jay and, like, I'm I've been fucking with him, but, like, the more... He just evolves and progresses. I just like... And you could say what you want about him basically being born in the Hollywood, but how many of us will be lucky enough to say you. that? Thank you. But think about having to navigate that pressure. It's a whole different level. Ooh, and, and then your sister bring... nice too? Pretty much. You know what I'm saying? Royalty. It's, it's like growing up royalty. It's okay. This is what we work for anyway, so we can give birth to the next generation of people who are born into a status. This is what heiresses. we want. So... That's what we're giving it up for. Absolutely. And Jaden's song, song single, mm -hmm. Cabin Fever, mm -hmm. came out July 23rd, mm -hmm. 2020. So pretty, pretty much just dropped that. Yeah, we out here. And this song is allowed for me, 62%. Hey. 62? 62. Holy shit, okay. 62 loud. I see how you feeling. Because I like soft rock. Mm. Oh. I like Ugh. soft rock. I'm, I'm a Motels it fan. It has such a place in my heart. I fuck with bands like OK Go, Velvet Underground, mm. Fremont. Mm. You guys may, low, you may or may not have heard of these bands, but these oh, are basically man. alternative rock, indie, oh, oh. soft rock bands. Oh my God, I, I can't believe it. I can't believe So I like that. It fits him. It definitely fits him. I had not seen him do anything like this before. And so him getting into this bag is totally makes all the sense in the world. Kudos. You need to do way more songs like this. I like the hazy, sun drenched, be sun drenched, beachy vibe mm. that, you know, it's not, it's basically in the same wave as like some Cali California indie rock shit. So I fuck with the song. I, Cabin Fever is pretty much on time. So you know, hello. Talk about timely. <laughs> I mean, know. my nigga, I didn't. I say Cabin Fever like once a day. Pretty much. That's crazy. I live Cabin Fever. I can't wait to get the fuck out of somewhere. So man, listen. I fuck with the song. Okay, okay. I'm 60, sixty-two percent loud. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna just go right into it because I only I only gave you three percent more than that and went to the sixty-five percent oh. loud. So so we just write about well, right about right on, on on cue with it. Did you, you know not see this coming? I'm just saying, like <laughs> I'm a fan. Like I fuck with this kid. Oh, nah, but like everything. Yeah. You, this shit is jamming. It's a yeah, jamming ass yes. soft rock all emo. Let me get in my feelings, but I ain't a Damn. Debbie Downer with yeah. it. We still gonna have a good time and mm -hmm. sip on this margarita, no, but I'm, I'm feeling you right now, and I'm in my emotions, and I'm gonna let you know. You know what I'm saying? And his voice sounds amazing. Like, he not a singer. We know Jay not. not a singer, but he sounds he used amazing his voice well, yeah. on this. Like, the harmonies he mm -hmm. hit, like, I had to hear it, like, on the third or fourth listen to be like, oh, that's him Deep in the background with them Yo, the young boy out here, I man, mean, he and you can't. Here. Niggas was not taking him seriously no. from top with the music. Yeah, he had to earn that. He, like, he earn put it. in, he put in his work as he should. And he's like, all right, now you taking me seriously. Now let me, let me get my shit mm -hmm. off. I love it, man. He listen, fever playlist. Playlist. Welcome to the list, man. Welcome to the list. What do you want me to do? Thank you, Jada. And Shout whenever, out. <laughs> whenever the fuck you ready to come out and speak your fucking whatever truth. Whatever you want to do. Whatever you want to do. Or if you here, don't, or keep if doing you. Don't, you. Keep fuck doing it. you. We see you. Thank fuck, you. Fuck these niggas. <laughs> yeah, Jaden, man. Jaden Smith. <laughs> Go check it out. Cabin Fever. I'm sure he got something coming up. Because, what, Iris was last year? He had the rock version of the Eris album. Oh, yes. That I think that came out either late last year or earlier this year. But well, either way. This might know. just be a loose. You never yeah, know. We'll see how know. it go. We'll see. Hey, man. The ally of the Enjoy day. Enjoy it. Came through with a loud. So what we, we had, we had... Ooh, it's been some interesting, been some interesting, interesting review. We got a moon rock, ladies and gentlemen. We got a moon rock, y'all. You know, so y'all gotta go check these music, this music out, and see what's going on. See what's happening. Let us know what you think, let and let the know. artists know what they think. Because the because you know, know. We, we we need this love out here. Yeah, we gotta we, spread it. That's it's, what we doing. We are doing it for y'all. If, if not, we wouldn't be putting it out. We'll just keep it. You know, make the music and keep it on our fucking hard drive. Fuck. Plenty of love Fuck. to go around. Hey. Shout out to y'all, man. Keep this music coming. 
But you know when you in the mu- you, 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 you got the music when in your you headphones. Get the music going on. The best place to listen to the music is out here in these streets. Come on, man. And I'm gonna get you to these streets. I'm gonna let you know what's really, really happening. Not only are the streets burning up, but it's hot outside as well. It's fucking hot outside. So it's just hot. It's a lot going on. But you know, PZ gonna take us there anyway because that's what we do. We out here in these streets. We certainly have been lately. So let's talk about that for a second. Mm. The first thing I want to bring up is Lambda Lounge. Oh, first place that we're going to talk about in these screens. Let me take you following PZ on a journey. The oh, real PZ shit. Is leading, Come on y'all. a journey, man. I'm going to go ahead and give you a little bit of the hood tour. Sit back and relax. Sit back, relax. So the first stop is Lambda Lounge. Lambda, Lambda, Featured Lambda, Lambda. in Out Magazine. Oh. Now, do you know Big that? Really style. Yes. Okay. This is kind of a big deal because, okay. you know, Out Magazine is a white centric LGBT publication. Yes. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So they got featured. They did a little interview, you know, told them about uh, how they developed the business and the tie in with the Lambda Vodka brand. And I thought it was amazing because we've been there a couple of times. We know the owners, um, mm-hmm. Chuck and Rich. Yep. You know, they some cool ass dudes. Shout out to them Lambda boys. And being that they opened like right before the pandemic had hit, mm. I kind of felt it. I felt I felt a little bit for them. Well, that's the thing. They didn't even get a chance to open. They didn't even get a chance. They were supposed to open in April. Okay. So like a couple weeks, you know, we shut down what the 18th or something like of that. March. The city shut down. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Couple weeks after that, they were supposed to be opening up. So it was like they found out at the last minute that they couldn't even open up. They should. Yeah. So it was it was pretty it was pretty um pretty bad for a minute. But you know they have been gracious hosts to a couple of events that we we attended, private events, but Absolutely. you know functions. And then they recently opened up their outside space mm-hmm. to you know accommodate you know, with, with accommodate some patrons. And it's a program that's put on by the state where, you know, they shut down some of the streets to open them up to businesses so that mm-hmm. they can at least try to pay some rent because these businesses are not making it out here. Like they, a lot, like 80% rough, of them man. are dead in the water. It's, it's really, really rough. bad out here. So Landa Lounge is doing the thing. <laughs> they jerk wings. A problem. <laughs> so... Erto eight, put me on some damn jerk wings. Eight, eight orders, man. Had like eight orders. Nigga. Nigga. And they the perfect size, the though. Perfect they size. not like the big, gaudy, goofy wings. Like, And then it's like, you know how you get jerked sometimes. Yeah. And it's like, damn, I know I'm going to feel this tomorrow. <laughs> but like these were like flavorful spicy. It was like, it was yeah. spicy. Don't get it fucked yeah. up. Like yeah. if you don't like hot shit, then you don't want these. You don't it's, want jerk. These. Like, it's jerk. Like It's jerk. You ain't in the jerk. You ain't in the jerk. But these... Shout out to Lambda Lounge, man. The wines. Shout out to the guys, Chuck and Rich. We love you, and your lounge is definitely popping. We we wish the best, definitely, you going forward, and, you know, hope to see maybe you can open up a little bit more, you know, maybe into the into the future. But, you know, shout out to the boys out there. Word. Uh, the Glad Awards hey. happened. Um, it was on July 30th. Okay. That was a couple Thursdays ago. Virtually, of course. Virtually, of course. It was hosted on their website and also on their YouTube page. You got to see it in real time. And mm. now to be showing on Logo as well from, I think, Tuesday. Uh, Tuesday the 3rd. So we're showing you this is our Thursday episode. So it might be on Logo already. But Glad Awards happened. It was... It aired from, let me see, 7.30. It's about an hour long. Excuse me, you know what I'm saying? It came out at 8 on 7.30, July 30th. I'm getting my dates mixed up. Gotcha. But it came on about an hour long, hosted by actress Fortune, Fortune Femster and, or Feinster, excuse me, mm. and British comedian Gina Yashir. Lil Nas X wins Outstanding Music Artist. Mm. There were definitely a few more notable ones. Nobody had a bigger year than him for sure. But I totally <laughs> think that they need to open that award category to more. Being that we're here talking about Q plus artists, yeah, yeah, and no. bigging them up anyway. I'm yeah, just saying. Yeah. I mean, we. I mean, that's just a call. We need an award. 
Like for we real. need a Q plus music award. We show, need period. a Q plus. We need our own. But listen, team. listen. We planting seeds out here. So true, we true. It, it is what it Can't is. Can't build Roman today. Yeah, yeah. But uh, hey, shout out to Lil Nas and shout all out of the nominees. Nominees for real, because that's big. Yeah, like that's big. How many nominees was it? Do you know? Uh, there was at least about nine or ten. Oh damn. Yeah. Shit. I mean, it's only one music award, so, so at least they they give it a look. But they have awards for pretty much. They have a a lot of different types of awards all across different mediums, different genres, different categories. So mm. they're pretty vo- uh, varied as far as like what they uh what they nominate acknowledge, yeah. acknowledge for the Q plus culture. So pose. Mm-hmm. One outstanding drama series. Okay, you feel me? That would be of an course. Emmy. That would be an Emmy thing. Ooh. But we're do- doing it all together. So they got saying. Emmys though. I think they got so. nominated. They got no- for it sure. Was, they it, was did some, get it was some controversy. They, they did. It was some controversy. <laughs> I did see but that. Yeah. Now we got some people that have been in Pose, so I guess they could say they Emmy nominated. Emmy nominated. <laughs> Glad Award winning. It's kind of a big deal. Man, I'm listen. Not gonna, I'm we, not going to hate you. Listen, we out here. That's all we're going to say. <laughs> Pretty much. Shout out to the gang, Shout man. out Niggas to Niggas is out here, man. Salute. Shout out to Pose. Salute. Who, I, don't, I, can, I can't see a LGBTQ series more deserving of praise. Yeah, nah, they did they, they, they killed that. For sure. Second season... I'm waiting for third season. Yeah, I was about to say, waiting for the third. We, <laughs> no, I'm just saying, I just saw it's the coming. second season. Oh, yeah, they it came coming. out last year. I just, I'm late. Yeah, they're so. doing a third. For sure, let's get it. Um, the next one that won significant, this is significant to me, or uh, relevant, Stonewall 50, The Revolution. Mm. This was a four-part miniseries that is on NBC Nightly News, and mm. they have, if you have... Uh, on demand, I have Spectrum and uh, Spectrum Cable, so they have an on demand menu. They have NBC Nightly Films, different channels, all for different things. So NBC Nightly News offers Stonewall Fifty, the four part series, and I watched it last year when it came out for the whole fiftieth anniversary. Yeah, it was in the library. And it was a dope series that went through the times, like from the very beginning, who were the first LGBT performers, to the Lavender Scare, the the 50s, the time of Bayard Rustin, mm. and then they go into, so it kind of sets the stage of what life was like for LGBTQ plus people, you know, in the early days, before before the... Uh, the the Stonewall riot. So yeah. of course they talk about that, and then they get into what the future is. And I totally ate it all up. <laughs> I ate that shit up because I live for it. Like I really like when that's dope though. I would is, love to watch that. This is not something that's taught in many many schools. That's yet. what I'm saying. You're not just getting that everywhere. You know what I'm saying. So we're learning in real time <clears throat> as it is. You know what I'm saying. I made a reference to Gladys Bentley in my song Flame and Cheddar. <clears throat> You know Streaming now on all platforms. Streaming on all platforms. And it was because I watched the Stonewall City. You see there? You see there? That's how it go, man. Boom, I love that. That's why I love music, man. That's where it is. And, of course, Chloe and Halle closed out the Glad Award performance. Everybody was here for it. I mm. saw it live on YouTube. I you saw were the streaming comments. it live? I was streaming it live while I was watching our, while I was doing our van, we was on live. We was on live watching Swanee with cut the up Alliance, with the body in the motherfucking set. Lions, body in the set. That I was crazy. double tasking. You I know what I'm saying? You. Multitasking. Swanee was killing it, and then I had the Glad Awards there. You feel me? Bang, bang. You already know what it is. Now, a couple weekends ago, there was an event, the Movement Challenge, mm. that I had seen. You know, sponsored by your boy Nunu. Mm-hmm. You know, raising awareness and putting on an event that put together music and with a social cause. Mm-hmm. And the person sitting next to me I was mean, part of the event, I mean, and so it was in Central Park. But it was a bike ride that supposedly started from Fort Greene. Yeah, so it was supposed to be like a three part situation. Okay, we started. In downtown BK, Fort Greene, and supposed to ride across the Brooklyn Bridge mm-hmm. to the East Village, the East River Park. I started at East River Park. Mm-hmm. I wasn't starting from downtown and doing a third part. I was so I thought, all right, I'm going to do a two part. And we rode from the East Village. And then, mind you, each stop they had like, it was a fitness uh, instructor. So he was doing like sessions. Ooh, so you do oh. like a little session. 
this was still going this was going on all before the well so they had a bunch of people that met in brooklyn but then the people that met in Brooklyn, they was like, all right, we cool. Like, mm. they ain't even riding across the bridge. <laughs> they was sure. like, They was like, we cool. I'm this sure. was cute. You know what I'm saying? We did the first segment. We're going to holler at y'all. And then <laughs> at the second segment, the instructor was there giving, you know, another segment. And, you know, it was people there for the segment, but then they wasn't really trying to bike that long. So we biked up, you know. The people that wanted to bike, we went from East Village mm-hmm. all the way downtown. If anybody know New York City... Right way downtown by the fucking bridge, like literally by the Brooklyn Bridge. And we bike all the way from down there, all the way up to 72nd Street to Central Park. That's a long So we rode way. all the way up, like pretty much, uh, what is that, the FDR, right mm. along the water. It's a nice path. That's the thing I got to give it up to New York City. The bikes paths, they make it, they accommodate the bike riders. It's very nice. They yeah. got the city bikes everywhere. You can only ride for 30 minutes at a time. So you got to park it at a depot, change your bike, or just park it, dock it for a bit. And then get it back out. So if you get you the day pass, you can just scan it, go back. You know, you do your thing. Right, but you right. got to make that stop. But you're going to want to stop anyway because mm-hmm. that's a long-ass bike ride. I mean. But it's scenic. It's nice. It was beautiful scenic. out that day. You know what I'm saying? It was scenic. But. It was very beautiful yeah. how we all ended up at Central Park at yeah, pretty much they, the they, same time. They just time. met me up there. Like, they was just like, all right. Because we, we wasn't going to play. We ain't playing out here. It was 95,000 nah, degrees I, outside. Listen, listen. It was melting. The, mel- was the melody rough. will melt at a certain point. Listen, you feel I, me? I'm not judging because it was rough out there. Yeah. So yeah. I commend you for doing a bike ride. And then. Thank you. And then on top of that, you, you came and you on, performed, on, nigga. Man. Like, Come on, man. I'm long with So he dude. did perform yeah, his it. single Bachelor. It was the music event was hosted by Troy Weeks. The Troy Weeks, the powerhouse, the one and singer. only, the one and only. <laughs> Shout guy, out to him. This guy. This guy threw in a marathon performance. He was basically singing from at least before I got there. Well, when we got there, we we found the spot following his voice and shit. All we had to do was follow his <laughs> like voice. Like we followed literally. his voice to the event. But from the street, that's him. Yeah, he was that's bodying him. He was, was bodying it, it when we showed up. He was going. In, he was going in, and you know, I think midway through, he had fe- featured performance. Yeah, and you had your Earth Tone come through. You had Phoenix come through, do body, her thing. Body had his man and come through on the sax. I forgot his name. The guy on the sax. It was. It was dope. It was a nice little situation. It was a put dope. together. Had a nice little crowd. People were stopping by, just we were jamming there. out. Having a good time. It was nice. You yeah. know what I mean? COVID safe, of course. Everybody was kind of spread out. We had our masks on. COVID. It was it was it was it was decent. COVID safe. Yeah. Now, yeah. you know, you had your performance there. Listen, and if you guys don't know already, this past weekend was Earth Tone's birthday as well. It was. His birthday is in the perfect spot of the summertime where it is. It really is. It's it's gonna be hot, but it you but it might be some days that's gonna be pretty, like beautiful, comfortable mm-hmm, kind of hot. Mm-hmm. And so we be it's out here spot. in these streets. Yep. It's a sweet spot. Yep. So he performed that weekend. That thing was the thirty first or what? No, it was the it was the twenty fourth, I think. Yeah, the show was on the twenty sixth. Yeah, the show was on the twenty sixth. After I had dropped my single, after yeah. the quarter of water single uh-huh. had popped That off. Saturday, that Friday, that Friday, and then the show was that Sunday, and so the it next, was a live weekend already. The next weekend was his birthday, and we was out here in these streets again. Yes, yes, again coming through <laughs> for his B day, yeah. which was all the way live situations. Yeah, we we got lit. We, we got gotta lit. go ahead and we just got give lit. it up to the man. Happy birthday! Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Homie. You Thank already you. know. Thank this you. is um you're gonna celebrate your birthday. You're gonna definitely give it up for this man, the creator of this show. Thank brought you. me along. Thank you, man. And he's come so far. I have like literally come so far. Since a young scrapper. Since a young scrapper. <laughs> shooting some b ball outside of the school. When a couple I was of doing. guys it was up to no good. That's it. Started making trouble in my in neighborhood. In the neighborhood. I got so, one little fight. My mom, mom got, scared. got scared. Come on, mom. I got it. I'm cool. Right. He's cool. He's here. <laughs> so we definitely had a good time out there. Can I tell you how serendipitous everything was happening? Yo, it would really. it really was like the stars. Like It ain't matter what plans we had. The stars had... A Other goal, plans. and it was like, listen, y'all, just just rock with us, just rock, and that's what we did. Did you understand 
when a bitch left her fucking leather purse, <laughs> a bitch like me, we the were whole, on the whole purse though. Listen, but we, what I don't understand. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me give him a primer. <laughs> we were coming from our brunch. We had a little brunch we situation. Had a brunch. You know what I'm saying? And we caught a bus by luck. That's what I'm saying. It was a bus coming out. The bus pulled up a, as we was trying to decide. As we like, trying to right, decide so how we, we going to get to well, the next spot, which was boxes in mm-hmm. Hell's Kitchen. Mm-hmm. We didn't know how we were going to get there. Nope. So a bus come up. I see everybody running, darting towards the bus. We definitely ran. What happened? <laughs> I got to run and hobble along too, but I made it. And I had my puss with me, leather. You feel me? All black, brand leather. new. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Bitch was styling that day, looking real cute. The mm-hmm. wrong brain shit. So I was sitting next to Billy, and I put my bag down by my leg. And then I had another bag with the clothes we just bought from the Goodwill and whatnot. Double, we, double fisting with the bag. Double fisting. I get off the bus. I think I got everything. I'm cool. I'm chilling. What the fuck? Out here. Out here. Looking it's nice good, out. Feeling good. Uh, it's Melody nice. Melody Drip is so fucking hard. <laughs> we on our way. I, we on our Bar way up the to block. make this shit. Bar up the block. We good. <laughs> so I, t- I stop in the middle of the block. Mm. And I realized, oh my God, my purse is on the fucking bus. Night over. Done. Night is, the night is over at that point. I turn around. I see Hood walking with my fucking purse. He had <laughs> me. He held me down. Thank you, Mr. B fucking Hood. Fam. Because you understand how over the day would have been. Oh, my God. That would have been you such. Wanna, you don't want to lose nothing on no MTA nothing. After we had, and we was only back. halfway through the day, and it was already popping. So you knew where so it was going. Popping. I knew where it was going. You would have been tight. Oh, my God. Ugh. That's what we're talking about. Yeah, it would have been the a nightmare. fucking line. Uh, stars was a line. It was beautiful. Hood came through with the Hood save. Hood came man. through with the save. Light, light. And we proceeded. It was a magical moment. So yeah. you already know how it ended because we got lit and it was a crazy. Yeah, man. Night. If you know, you know, man. It is what it is. That's man. what it was. We, we fan enjoyed love ourselves. out there. We thank you, the fans. We enjoyed ourselves because the fans see us in these streets. Yeah. and you know and they give it up and they definitely give it up. They give it up. Respect. And we thank the fans for coming through and supporting us as well. You know, we chilled. It was what it was. Absolutely. And brother, this is your birthday. I'm, you know, what you got to say? I mean, not much. <laughs> you know, like I said, like I ain't really the big birthday guy. Like I'm, I'm definitely, I love totally where my birthday. Reminders no, 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 no. I mean, I'm just saying with the, with the fan, with the, mm-hmm. like y'all home team, but like, I ain't the big, like, all right. I, I like to have a good time, man. We're gonna be out here. I'm I'm out here. Every, but I love where my birthday is, it is. in the year. Like Perfect it's part like of right summer. in the middle. It's like summer baby for real. Summer like, baby. I love the summer. So it is. It is and I like nice round numbers like eight and two. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Come on, man. Give it up for the man here. He loves his what birthday. What can I say, man? I'm a every, Leo, man. Every year for your birthday, I feel like we get kind of lit. In some kind of way, but, but I that's kind of the only thing I make a point to do. Like other than that, it's like I don't know what's gonna happen. We did a really show. Do. I did the Lancy because the picture came up. I remember that, and you know we was all wearing the pink. I think that was two years oh, ago. Yeah, that shit came up. I was like, I forgot about that. You we know, do but turn you know, the the other interesting thing about my birthday is. Is in such a spot in summer. You know, a mad events happen in the summer. Mad events happen. It's always one of my best friends got married on my birthday. Wow! So his anniversary is my birthday. That's beautiful, man. So it was like it's always some going. Like I'm usually doing. So I had a show. Well, that show was the weekend before my yeah, birthday. Yeah. But like, I'm usually kind of doing something on my birthday, and I use I I like doing something. Like I don't like to just kind of sit around, but I don't really. I'm not the big planner. I don't put extra pressure like, oh, it got to be something. It got to be grand. Listen, I just kind of go with the flow. And it usually end up, it turns out good. I love celebrating other people's birthdays. <laughs> I love turning up. Yeah. I need a reason. That's come all it through. is. That's all it is. Excuse me, turn up. I read. That's what it is. And that's I'm going to do it, it for, if you not coming hard enough, I'm going to come through. Oh, no. When I when I was out, we out, though. When we out, we, we out. out. So... This is kind of the first time we did something like that. It was just us chilling. We yeah. didn't have no show with nah. no obligations. Just chilling. Just cool. So it was cool. I mean, we kind of did. It's, it did kind of start with an obligation, but we already knew what it was. We already know. <laughs> we already know. So, that was hard too, though. That was kind of the start of it. Yeah, yeah. That was a, it. Was the start of it. But you know, listen. Shout out to Earth Tone. Happy birthday, brother. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Love you, love you. Hey, thank man. you. You're saving me with this show. So oh, I'm man. Damn. So I thank mean, you. And you know. 
many, many more to you. We out here in these streets. Anytime you already know any times you want to celebrate some shit, hey, man. I'm going to be around. Just, just say what up. Let us know. Say let's, when. let's go. And that's what's going <clears throat> on out here in these streets. Oh, shit. We okay. Just, we out here. That's really what I'm really that's saying. That's what it boils down to. Mm-hmm. Okay. I see you. Hey, man, listen. As always... PZ does it again, you know what I mean? Gives it to you up close and personal. We'll let you know exactly what's going on what's out here really in the streets, going on. Man. And y'all got to let us know what's going on in the streets, too. Put us on to some shit. Put us on. You know what I'm saying? Hit we us up in the comments. Who it. should we be tuned into? What's the spots? You know what I'm saying? COVID safe, of course. COVID safe. Because bosses, they was taking temperatures and everything. They had the temp guns. They wasn't yeah, playing. You couldn't wasn't. just get onto the rooftop. Yeah. Like, you had to be... You had to be on your shit. So, shout out to them for that. Shout out to New York City for doing it right. Everybody staying safe out there, man. And, you know, it's tough. Because, like you said, Jay ain't got the joint cabin fever. That's some real shit. People, you know, battling depression. This is the worst time to have, you know. To have to be stuck inside. Yeah, man. So, it's like, you got to find your way to, you know, live life and do what you got to do. But just, you know, be smart and be safe. Oh, man. Speaking of being smart and being safe. Mm -hmm. I don't know how that got anything to do with anything. I don't know either. But I, it made me want to smoke. Oh, did it? Yeah. I see we got a perfect little new instrument going on here. I mean, somebody had to update pain. because I kind of was wilding. So, was but we ain't even going to get into all of that because. That's a whole story by yeah, itself. Y'all don't even. Y'all ain't privy you know to all that. Everybody don't get access. I don't. I, we'll I, tell I told you, later. you. Come holler but, at us and maybe we'll tell yeah, you. Yeah, if you person. see us in the streets, we might holler at mm-hmm. you and tell you. But. Somebody got a new addition to the family, man. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I think that might be the cue for a smoking session in, in the, the smoking, smoking section. section. Yes, perfect. Look What's at that time, man. What's going on? All right, so you might as well go and light that up. Let's do it. And Let's I'm going to get it. to what we're going to be... What's the query for the day? You know what I'm saying? What is it? What are we looking at? What are we looking at? What's the query for the day, Mr. Well, query? Well, I mean, it might be an obvious one. It might seem like a simple one. But it took me... To a few other avenues when I ask myself it. Do professional athletes smoke weed? <laughs> I always <laughs> so assume that they did. <laughs> <I'm> not- <laughs> That just, that was perfect time, man. That was uh, that was crazy. I naturally assume, but you know what I'm saying. But see, that's some see, that's some bullshit. That's some racist shit. You know what I'm saying? Because you figure like all the pro athletes, young mean, black niggas, all young black niggas smoke weed, huh? I mean, Jason Kidd wasn't black. Jason Kidd smoked weed. I mean, he might. Oh my god, Jason Kidd is black. I think he mixed. Oh, Stop talking about Jason. What you know about Jason? Kidd? I mean, you know, he said Jason. I mean, Kidd. I'm just saying. All right, but look, but that ain't what I'm. That wasn't the point. What I'm trying to say is, do they can they smoke weed and still be productive and efficient? Because you got to think about it. These are the top athletes in the world. These are premier athletes. Like true, is Serena true. running around smoking weed? Like does Serena smoke? Like I don't know. I never thought do about these it like top that. Ad- that's what I'm trying to say. Like I'm trying to take it there. Like the do the I'm talking about pro athletes. Period. Not just hoopers. Not just basketball, football. Simone we Biles. got wrestlers. You got skiers. Mm-hmm. A lot of people smoke weed, bro. Yeah. Are these pro athletes out here hitting the weed? I want to know. Is it a common thing? And does it affect performance? Is it something that they? feel enhances it or is it something that they feel is like a hindrance but they just fuck it we do it anyway because we enjoy it but aside from that it don't matter if they do it or not right if it's illegal they can't do it period yeah so what's the kicker is all of these major leagues they're showing more leniency on their drug testing policies so a lot of these professionals especially like starting this year earlier in this year MLB announced that they were no longer testing players for trees, period. They not even testing for weed no more. So you can just do what you do. It ain't illegal. But you can't get endorsed. You know, you can't get a weed endorsement or be sponsored or anything like that. But that's pretty big. For Major League Baseball, that's like American pie. That's yeah. like yeah. the staple of America pretty saying much. like, yo, yeah, y'all can smoke if y'all America's want. pastime. You know what I'm saying? They still, because you know they... The, the steroids and all that shit and enhan- performance enhancement drugs that's yeah, a big thing so they still cracking down on that but for them to be like yo we ain't testing for trees that's huge um so i'm you know that's the stuff i'm paying attention to and it's really interesting to me because i'm like i know the history of like how strict drugs and sports that's a that's a big thing that's almost like a taboo type of situation so and it happens all the time we know they all doing it mm-hmm. but it's just a matter of 
are the employers cool with it? Is it going to be type of thing? Are they getting with the times? You know, because the wave is like it's going to be legal sooner or later anyway. So what y'all waiting on? But the NFL is also following suit. They ended suspensions for positive testing for marijuana. Mm. So if you get a positive test, you, don't, you used to get suspended. Like, off top, boom, out of oh. here. Suspended for a few games. Boom, 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 and you Ooh. might get a fine. Ooh. But they canceled all that, so they ain't, they ain't doing that no more. They got, yeah, that's huge. Um, so they might get rid of that, and they limiting the testing window. So, like, they might test, like, closer to the start of the season as opposed to, like, starting at the top of the summer or you got to test all year round. It's only a short window you even got to test. Mm. Um so, you know, they're just changing the policies. They're showing the leniency. It's just showing you that they're getting more progressive. They're taking steps towards really considering, is this something we're going to do for the long run? Like, you see the changes happening. And it's just interesting to be at the start of it and be able to watch it unfold and see what happened. Um, because, you know, you don't know how far it's going to go. Maybe that's all they're willing to give, or maybe they this is just the beginning. You know what I'm saying? But the NBA, of course, you know that's where all of the smokers are. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I wasn't going to assume Listen, or come on. We nothing. know what it is. It is what it is. It's the Herbal Tea Podcast. But I mean. We keep it a buck here. <laughs> like, we know what it is. I'm a hooper myself. Niggas, Listen. we smoke. The hoopers smoke. Um, But, you know, they're in the bubble right now. They're in Orlando. So the way they set it up for COVID, the way they decided they can move forward with the NBA season, because you know it got cut short. That's when I knew COVID was real, right? Yeah, yeah. I was watching the game. And they literally kicked the audience out of the arena. I saw I saw a news article, not a news article, but it was on the news when they did that. I saw that. Yeah, because before that, it was maybe like a week before that when you really started hearing like Corona might be serious. That was boom, boom, unreal boom. to but me. But then once that, when I saw that, and I was at work like looking at the highlights of it, and I'm like, I've never saw that in my whole life. So I'm like, this shit is real. Like it ain't. They about to shut it, and then maybe a couple days later, my office was like, "Nah, everybody work from home." Boom, boom, boom. Like it started unfolding, but so now they're back, and they're in Orlando. And their idea was they pretty much they put everybody in a bubble. Everybody had to get tested for like two weeks straight, every day or every other day, something like that. They had a quarantine period. You couldn't bring any family members. Nothing. It's literally a bubble. Like so, everybody wow. who's in there working there, they're on a resort in Disney World wow. in Orlando. Um, and it's just for the basketball players. So if you ain't playing or you ain't a coach, you ain't there or working or whatever. No audience. They got like virtual audience members and all that shit. Um, and they playing basketball. It's like a tournament. So it's conti- it's a continuation of last season. And normally the NBA season would have been over in uh, June. So the championship okay. would have happened in June already. So they had to cut it short. So they picked back up. So it's like an abbreviated season. And it's going to be over October. Long story short, they're not testing these niggas down while they're down there for weed. So they could be down there smoking if they could get it, which I'm sure they're making ways to get it because they're making ways. They're going to strip clubs and all that, apparently. But that's for another – that's for something else. But I mean, but they could smoke down there. And it's, a, it's a history of a lot of players, you know, getting fines for testing positive and getting suspensions and – it's a known thing that these niggas is out here smoking. It's right. kind of, you know, it's a, it's a, they're real medical benefits to marijuana, especially as far as, you know, being an athlete, having sore muscles, back aches, insomnia, can't sleep, shit like that. Absolutely, absolutely. It helps nerves, all of that type shit. Like, it's, it's, it's a lot of benefits that marijuana and THC has that could be helpful to a pro athlete. And these, Athletes are out here getting it in. But, you know, like we said, the leagues are getting with the program and they're being more lenient. They're easing back on these restrictions. And it's kind of a beautiful thing because it's something I never would imagine, especially growing up in sports, playing sports, playing basketball. Mm-hmm. Like, that was just a thing. Like, I didn't even smoke weed until I got out of high school. My first weed smoking experience was in high school, but it was like my senior year, but I didn't really get high. But I started smoking in college. And, like, the best player on my team was like I sent her, and he burnt down. Like, he was a smoker. So I'm like, wow. yo, if he could smoke, and he nice, still nice, still practice, ain't wheezing, ain't, you know what I'm saying? Like, he, but getting it in after, like, we we was we hung out. Like, we used to get it in. And I'm like, all right, if he could do it, it probably ain't that crazy. And I did it, and it was like, I used to smoke. I didn't smoke that much during the season. Mm. After season, off season, I was like, it was like whatever. But then, like, my junior, senior year, I was just getting it in. I was like, fuck it. I ain't really see no lack in my performance, whatever, whatever. So if you could do it, I mean, I'm sure it ain't for everybody, but it's just great to see that 
the the leagues are starting to take a stance as far as let's just make some headway. Let's negotiate. Let's figure it out. You know what I'm saying? It's progressive, and I fuck with it. Um, but what is even crazier is so the the head of the NBA's players union. She just signed on. Her name is Michelle Roberts. She just signed on as uh, a board member for this company called uh, Cresco Labs. They're a marijuana company, and she's on their board, and she's pretty much uh, working with them, you know, on their brand and trying to, you know, bring light and highlight the the, the positive effects of marijuana as far as, um, you know, treating illnesses and conditions and ailments and stuff like that. She's all for it. She's one of the reasons why the NBA is starting to be more lenient with their drug testing efforts, and she's one of the reasons why they not testing for marijuana right now. So she's doing even bigger and better things, and it sounds like she's taking steps to where, like, long story short, we could probably see, like, a J.R. Smith who's on the Lakers play with LeBron being endorsed by, like, a weed company or some shit, like Raw Raps. Like, that's what it sounds like. She on some brand ambassador type shit, and she works with the Players Union, and now she's on the board of I mean, it makes sense because... All these, all these, uh, these uh, sports associations—they're losing money. Yeah. They need another way to, you know, create the capital that they're losing. Bottom, I don't know, about a day, about a year. Yeah. You know, for as long as this this uh, this uh, pandemic is going on and preventing people from coming together to show up at these yeah. at these shows. So yeah. there's got to be some way. And I, I mean. It always strikes me <laughs> what happens to the world when we're at the brink of something. Mm-hmm. You know, the things that we've been wanting, we've been advocating for, you know, and I'm not saying we personally, but just generally, just in general, yeah. things that, you know, most of us, you know, that are a little bit more liberal, what we that were, we want, want to see, we wanted to see yeah. is now coming to be because this pandemic is forcing everybody's hand. And it didn't even have to be that way. But it did have to be that way. That's the that's the kicker. <laughs> it never hap- like it never happens without you gotta be pun niggas gotta get punished before they learn. Yeah. They just always just just that's just us as humans. Okay. They had it. It's just it's just the way it is. You know, we I'm rolling with the punches either way. Hey, we here this for is it. Something Listen, to we watch. gonna last regardless because we done been here. That's why it ain't even like I'm on some even kill with it because we done seen a lot of crazy shit. So Absolutely. this is crazy, but it's like, it ain't like, I mean, like, what else is new? You know what I'm saying? So we just waiting to see. We riding it out. We doing we us. We riding it out. And we being safe and we giving it up for y'all. We giving it up to these artists. We giving it up in the streets. We giving it up on these smoking pipes, man. <laughs> Broke me the green when it bought me a blue yeah, one. Yeah, but I mean that. I mean that's pretty much that's pretty much what I got with it. It's is 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 getting to a point where the pro leagues are hip to this shit. Hip hop mm-hmm. is taking over. Mm-hmm. It's it's a culture. It's bigger than rap. It's kind I of mean, the way of the world right yeah, now. Yeah, and it's like they just getting hit. They ain't got no choice really. So they just like yeah, all right, we with it. We see it. Boom. All right, you know, know what I'm saying. We you see, b- you see how the NBA taking over with the BLM. Like they rapping hard. Listen, they kneeling. They doing. They doing everything. We busting up. You saw that they wore their jerseys. They had different names, different phrases. Like instead of LeBron James, like James on the back of his jersey, it says "Say her name." Like they out here. Like they not. They not playing with it. And I, I appreciate these kids. And they they doing their thing. I love man. It. They doing it right. I love it. Keep busting them down, them luxury ass stores, and keep looting and keep doing what you got to do. I'm not saying looting, and chill, but I'm just saying keep, you got to make noise. Keep sometimes, setting, man. keep setting the streets on fire. Yeah, like be smart with it, but you sometimes and, you gotta and you make, make your make point because they're hearing us. They're hearing us, but progress is a slow process. It's a slow process. So and let's just and take change, it day by day. Change is uncomfortable and, and it's painful sometimes, right. but. It's necessary. We so have counting our blessings and shit. Every we gonna day. get That's there, it. man. And instead of all, it's a lot. It's a Debbie Downer sound like a little bit, but you know, not saying that you know. We gonna we on, on our way up. Note. We out here, yeah. We just not. We just up. not surprised by all of the extra. It's life, man. You gotta get it. It's life. You know what I'm saying. And when you got Mary Jane in your life, Mary Jane. So we just gonna chill with her and end it on a high note. Look at that from cows to cows. What is dope? This hope. What is dope? This hope. Shh. Wait. Is it lit?